our next guest is a local mom who founded a bakery with a mission to help individuals with disabilities like her son. So from delectable desserts like French macarons and tarts, cheesecakes, eclairs to her signature trifle, Asma Gower, CEO and founder of Trifles, is in studio with more on what inspired her to start it all. Asma, it's been great having you in studio. Your husband Zolfi is here and your son Zaki, who's 10 years old, they're in studio. There's Zaki. What's up, buddy? Hey, Zaki. You're on TV, dude. Hey. Famous. How are you doing? <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can see Zolfi's hand there, uh, your husband. <laughs> but we're so glad to have you here. And we can't wait uh, to have you show us a little trifle assemblage. Yes. But tell us how this all began for you. Well, like you mentioned, my husband, Mr. Trifles, uh, is a big lover of desserts. So we honestly started making desserts just at home to have. Um, trifle became a signature dish of mine. A lot of friends and family really enjoyed it. And after having Zaki with special needs, he has spina bifida, uh, he has impairment below, a uh, waist below, and he has epilepsy, which keeps him mentally delayed. Uh, this business really started in the hopes of providing him with financial security when he's older, uh, a way for him to be independent. Um, and then also we want to extend that to our Houston community and then employ people with uh, different needs. Wow, Here's that's some really cool. Wonderful family pictures, uh, yeah. you and your family. And this has really allowed you really to kind of stay home, cl a little closer to home. Yes. But you also have this wonderful mission. I mean, talk about um, what are your what are your goals? What are your lofty sights that you've set for um, this delicious dessert? Because it just started with, okay, we like sweets and you end up <laughs> making a really good one. Yes. Uh, so during the pandemic, we really expanded on our product line. Uh, we have a main focus on French pastry. Uh, so we do a lot of different types of desserts, ranging from macarons to dessert cups, mini tarts, little entremets, which are French for small cakes. Um, our aesthetic is really making it very trendy and chic and Instagram friendly. Uh, so you can kind of see like the different types of desserts that we do on social media. Um, yeah, the, the business really came about for our, our kids and for having them, uh, you know, something for their futures. But the Houston community has just been so great to us in the last three years that we want to extend that out to people with different needs and special needs in the community. And it's so, really cool. And you're also yeah. committed to, we just saw some photos right. on the screen, you're committed to em employing other em employees with yes. special needs. And just this year, you hired your first employee, yes, is that right? Yes, so this year we hired our first part-time employee. Maha is a 21-year-old young adult who has high-functioning autism. And she was our go-to person for the Ramadan holiday. She helped us out during Eid orders. And she was our go-to person. She did everything from dishwashing to packaging. I mean, she was she was amazing. And so as we continue to grow, we hope to hire her full time and then others like her. And then, I mean, so that's how special this mission is to you. It kind of it reminds me of the saying, be the change you want to see in the world. You hope yes. someone maybe would extend that to Zaki one day yes. and, you know, yes. and, and then someone else pays it forward and you keep yes. on building the community like that. Exactly. And you're, yeah, and yeah. you're doing it through these uh, trifles. So. Before we get too far, I mean, what exactly is a trifle? <laughs> so a trifle is a traditional English dessert. It's based out of the UK. It's mainly made up of sponge cake, fruit, jam, and a, a, you know, jelly and a whipped cream. We've put a spin on that today, so we will be making a, a pound cake uh, trifle, which is pound cake, fruit, it has strawberry and banana, we have some raspberry jam and our uh, signature custard with hand whipped cream. All so right. you know what, I'm in. I'm yeah. in with totally all that. Okay? I just gonna look decided right now, I'm 100% so in. We're gonna go ahead and get our hands clean with these gloves that we have provided. We're gonna cut a banana. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to slice it so that it'll look all neat and pretty into our so okay. I just peel this. Just peel it. I can okay. do that. I, I can now, do that. I'm, I'm here yeah. with you. On Step this one. Recipe. We're or doing can it. I? Okay. You know what? Yeah, peel it. Yeah. Okay, it's okay, a little bit. That was a little hard. It's a little hard. <laughs> there we go. First challenge accepted and overcome. So okay. We're here we go. Cut it in half. Okay. okay. And then we're gonna cut it long ways. Okay. okay. And the whole point of, of cutting it this specific way is so it fits in our, so our final dish. So it fits in there, and then that way you don't have like big chunks of banana or okay. you know fruit in there. Okay. So here we go. We're just gonna cut these real quick. All right. I love bananas. Me too. They smell amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just like okay, it's just a banana. Good potassium for you. Yes. Too. Yeah. And then just to kind of assemble it real fast, what we're gonna do? We're gonna put a little bit of a spoonful of jam onto our. Pound cake. Okay. Stick it in our cup. 
like it's that. Raspberry jam. Okay. Amazing. Raspberry jam. Got some on my glove. Okay. No problem. So this is the base. This, you should this try to put this the in the cup. Oh, yeah. Oh. So we're oh. going to put our banana do it? and then our there we go. strawberry. Oh, okay. And then you will take your handy dandy custard and pour it in there. Ooh. Okay. And we're just going to repeat that real fast. We love that. So layer by layer. A little layer. assembly line here. So this pound cake, line, if someone yeah. wants to try putting this at home, they could make something from scratch or they could try they even could, a store-bought yeah. pound they cake. They could even buy, yes, yeah, store-bought pound cake. They I go custard heavy. Store custard. Um, okay. That's okay. The more custard, the better. It tastes a lot better with the custard. So there okay. you go. Okay. And then, I keep looking I over to see if Zaki and Zolfi are approving of what we're doing. <laughs> you are we doing okay, guys? I'm sure they Oops. will. I'm sure Thumbs they will. up, thumbs down. You guys doing good over there? Okay, yeah, doing right. great. Last step is we're going to use the whipped cream to go all on top. Okay. And you can put as much as you would oh, like. Oh, that's okay. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, great. Okay, well, I'll, I'll pass no, on no, the whipped cream. No, 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 here. Get some. Oh. Get some. Oh. It's oh. good for you. There you go. Okay. I'll well. do yours. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. This is this really is cool, Asma. And uh, I think the reason you started it all is just very, very lovely. Thank you. Uh, all the best to you. Thank you. And so Zolfi much. and Zaki, thank you so much for stopping by studio. Great meeting you all. I thank cannot wait so to get much. into this. Thank yes. you so much, Asma. Thank you all for having us. Well, if you'd like to make this dessert at home, of course, we've shared the recipe on our website, HoustonLife.tv. You can also stream this demo later today on the KPRC2 Plus app. And you can watch that whole thing with the whipped cream. Derek, we'll do that. It'll that be again later. Hopefully we didn't ruin your <laughs> Yeah, I'll know. I can be here now. for you guys. <laughs>